As part of our series of videos talking about adherence to medication, I thought it would be interesting to just quickly review a few important points about the cost to society and to public health of non-adherence. And non-adherence has been noted as one of the major public health problems, not only in the United States, but worldwide. So if we think about the cost of non-adherence, we usually think in terms of direct costs and indirect costs. And the direct costs would be things like increase in outpatient department visits, hospital admissions, admissions to nursing homes, visits to the emergency room, and unnecessary or extra diagnostic testing. If we just go through these specific ones, then I could just mention here that they have estimated that about 10% of hospital admissions are related to medication non-adherence and about 23% of nursing home admissions. So this is the low estimate. If you put this together, we're talking about 33% and some estimates go as high as 69%. Now, what does this mean in financial terms? If we just look at the estimate of direct costs, the low estimate has been about 100 billion US dollars per year. The high estimate go up to 290 billion US dollars per year. Money lost in terms of lost patient earnings, which would be one of the indirect costs, estimated at about 1.5 billion US dollars per year and money lost in terms of lost productivity we're talking about 50 billion so if we just put all of this together you can already see that we're talking about somewhere between 151 to 341 billion US dollars per year in terms of economic costs and financial losses. Economic costs does not tell the whole story. If we just start thinking in terms of lives lost, we're talking about 125,000 people who die each year due to medication non-adherence. That's a more or less 340 people per day. So I think you would agree with me that it is very important that a healthcare worker knows how to deal with non-adherence how to prevent it so that we can really help relieve suffering and also decrease the very, very high costs that this has to society as a whole.